Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Aside from the daily mess, I have four hot spots to tackle in this video. My cleaning products are so disorganized. I know there's empty bottles and products and things I don't need. So I'm decluttering and cleaning and reorganizing all of it. If you watch my vlog, you know my son pulled the chest over and broke the whole thing. Luckily, he didn't hurt himself. Those items were replaced, so I'm sorting through everything that was stored in the previous chest into the new one. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. I'm a stay-at-home, work-from-home mom of three. I upload videos on cleaning, organization, and motherhood. If you like motivational cleaning videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any more of my future uploads. Starting out in my room, sorting a haul of new clothing for the kids and I, I'm going to rinse only, not do a full wash with detergent. It's just what I do before we wear them and I do the same with linens. I shared this haul in my last vlog and mentioned my son is starting school soon. Sultan has a few more months until pre-K. She will be starting a new class where she can meet friends and socialize. This also wasn't one day of shopping, I have to point out. It's been collecting for about two weeks. I wanted to get this out of the way first so it can be put away. Plus, I have loads of laundry to get out of the way, so the earlier I start, the better. So I'm trying out a new laundry detergent by Method in the Beach Sage scent. I shared this on Instagram and a lot of you agree, this is the best scent. I'm washing cleaning cloths right now from the night before that I forgot about, and I always add in my Lysol laundry sanitizer to get them extra clean. Now to declutter my cleaning products, I'm going to be in and out of this room throughout the day anyway, so I decided to do this now. I'm going to take everything out onto the countertop so I can see it properly, so I can clean and reorganize. Normally, I would do this in the laundry room on top of the washer and dryer, but it's so dark in there, you wouldn't be able to see the process. Also, I wanted to mention for my viewers that are dizzy after watching the time lapse, if you try and focus on my progress rather than me moving around in circles, I circle around a lot during this time because I'm getting so much done, and I don't want to cut out my process unless the video is becoming too long. I cut out majority of the parts where I walk back in front in front of the camera because it is distracting, but otherwise, let the audio guide you and follow my progress, not my movements. I have four baskets in this wooden tray where I keep my most used products and my three canisters. One is empty, that's supposed to be baking soda, and then I have my laundry and dish detergents. These are the oils that I use for cleaning only. I find them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's so inexpensive compared to good quality essential oils, which I have also and I only use for diffusing. I'm going to offload the dishwasher, then load it back up, clear the countertops off, wipe everything down with my vinegar mix, then hand wash the rest of the dishes. I finally repurchased a new bamboo drying rack from Walmart and it's more expensive now. I've seen them at Ross and Marshalls for $11.99 so I was shocked at Walmart for that $19.99 price tag. I did decorate for Valentine's Day, but you can't really tell because of the mess. I'm not really into Valentine's Day, but the decor this year is so adorable. I see it as a chance to be a little more girly and festive for no reason, but the kids like it and you'll see it throughout the video. I bought a new diffuser from the Bed Bath & Beyond website. I really like the output on this one. I'm using Joy and Lemon Vitality from Young Living. I ordered a set for myself over the holidays as a gift. So far, I'm loving essential oils and learning more about the benefits. I don't work with them. I know some of my girls do. That's why I went with them. I'm not going to lie. The oils are not cheap. That's why I'm using them wisely. To clean my kids' water bottles, I'm using this set of pipe cleaners I found at Target in the baby section. It's the Munchkin brand, and I love these little things for getting into the tops and straws of bottles because mold grows in those places. I've seen it, it freaked me out, and since then, I thoroughly scrub the entire bottle.
To clean my sink, you guys know I use regular dish soap, my vinegar mix, and a scrub brush. To shine it, I use the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, then my vinegar mix again with a clean cloth to buff it dry. To surface clean, I always use my vinegar mix. That's what I use to clean my backsplash and microwave. My front burner is used the most, so I concentrated the barkeeper's front there. I always use a non-scratch sponge for my glass top, but for some reason, no matter how hard I scrub, little bits always stay. I don't always show when I switch laundry, but I made sure to include it this time so you guys don't forget you have laundry going. I'm washing everything today and I want to make sure it all gets put away today. Moving into the living areas, the kids are not home, so that's why they aren't helping me pick up their toys. They left to the playground with their dad right after breakfast. I'm speed cleaning this entire area, pulling out all the cushions and completely vacuuming my whole couch. To clean our dining table, I'm using rubbing alcohol in a glass spray bottle with newspaper to wipe. This was the most recommended combo to clean glass and mirrors. It really does leave you a streak-free shine. I suggested this to my mom and she loved it. She's never going back. On my glass table, I have to wipe underneath too because my kids always touch under there. Every activity, every meal shows, but thank you for suggesting this. The alcohol and newspaper combo is here to stay. So like I explained at the beginning of the video, I'm going to declutter the old chest drawers into the new one. These are all a mixture of Ruby school papers, drawings, workbooks, coloring books, sight words, all types of educational and fictional books for different levels. These books have made it super easy and fun for my kids to actually learn through short stories and pictures, of course with my enthusiasm reading as well. We love books. My mom handed all of these down to me and we've been using them for years now. So this 
this is how I ended up organizing it for now. I definitely need a few drawer organizers. Now I'm just slightly dusting before I vacuum the floors to prepare to start folding one of my many loads of laundry. I decided to get up all the rugs and put them to wash, then I swept because there was stuff all over the floor. In my kids' room, I'm stripping all their beds so I can get that going. Then I'm decluttering and reorganizing all of the toys. I store all of my kids' toys in one closet. I've shown how I've done this before. Today, I'm adding in a few more bins because it's the best way for me to do this. Thankfully, in our apartment, we have pretty high ceilings. The top shelves in all the closets has so much vertical space. I take advantage of that by using these clear bins I find at the Dollar Tree and organizing the kids' toys by category. This makes it easy for the kids to see what they want to play with also when they're done it's super simple for them to just clean it all up put it back in the bin that it goes into obviously right now it's a complete disaster but like I said there's new stuff so it's a cycle I got a bigger basket for the kids stuffed animals from Marshalls. I like the cylinder shape one better in the living room, so I switched them out. Before putting the other toys back, I'm just going to lightly dust this area and vacuum. As you can tell, Emir loves his bed. I ordered it from walmart.com. His bedding is from Marshalls and the sheet set is this really soft cotton jersey material. It's from Walmart. They always have these sets as a bundle. His mattress is also from walmart.com. It's the most comfortable mattress I've ever felt in my life. It came with two gel memory foam pillows, but they were too small. So I bought him the same Serta gel memory foam pillows that we all have from Sam's Club. These beautiful, massive woven storage baskets are from Target. Inside I store my kids linen, all of them. Underneath I have five blankets and on top I have all of their sheet sets nicely folded. I bought Ruby a new desk. I found this one at the Ikea as is section. It's a smaller desk, it fits better in this room and it was discounted plus put together already. 
The pillows are blue because I took the covers off to wash and I just set the pillowcases there to wait for the covers to finish washing. Also wanted to point out that the girl sheet sets and throw blankets are also from Marshalls. I'm wiping down all the glass with rubbing alcohol. I labeled this bottle glass. The other one is my vinegar mix and it's labeled multi-purpose. They both stay under the kids' bathroom now and I have a set in my bathroom as well. The set for the kitchen and living room aren't labeled because they have different sleeves. After vacuuming the kids room, I'm headed back into the laundry room to switch another load. Today I included real life clips of how quickly the mess piles up even after I've been cleaning because we live here. Most of the time I have to go back over what I already cleaned. That's just how it is when you clean with kids. Realistically, not everyone can send their kids off while they clean the whole house all day. At some point, the kids have to eat and drink and so do you. Don't think because I shine my sink, it's still that way an hour later. No girl, my kids eat and play regardless. More laundry, cleaning cloths piling up, and more laundry to fold. Emir is hanging out on the warm laundry basket, which is one of his favorite things to do, along with crushing foam that he calls snowman. Keeping a clean home with kids is hard. Can you imagine someone coming in and saying, there's no excuse for this mess, your place is filthy, looks like you haven't cleaned in months. This is the harsh reality of how quickly mess happens. You watched me clean so much so far, right? So who says I can't just say, screw it, I'll do it tomorrow? Oh, you're lazy. Girl, you don't know what, who, why, where. Nobody's life but your own. Stop mom shaming. Don't think from one mess and one video you can assume someone lives in filth. Now for motivational purposes, I'm going to share my progress. The kids room is done and clean. I got so many questions on how I was going to make this one room work for all of them and this is how. Obviously, this is temporary, but in the meantime, I don't think I could have done any better. It's neutral, fresh, light, everything has its place. The kids usually play in the living room or outdoor patio. I turn that into a whole play area for them. And if they aren't choosing toys or sleeping or getting dressed, this door is closed. Before I deep clean the kids bathroom, I'm going to tackle this activity closet. I didn't include the sorting clips, but I did show my in between progress and of course the end result. I decided to include bathroom cleaning motivation because you all see me declutter and organize a lot today. Here's a rough overview of what we keep in this closet. I didn't clean like paint and crayon marks off of everything and reorganize it super neat, just enough so the kids and I can find what we're looking for.
At the end of mopping my kids bathroom I did switch the pad but it wasn't in frame so I just had to show you up close that the mop pad is changed. As soon as I went to mop the kitchen one of my lighting kits fell over I don't know if you guys saw that or not. As soon as I'm done finished mopping I'm putting back down all the rugs except for my bathroom because as you guys saw I did not make it in there. The last thing I'm doing is starting my cleaning cloths to wash and then I'm going to wipe down the washer and dryer. There was lint all over them from laundry and just moving around all day. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.